through it. I don't know if you have a family yet. I don't know if you're young. I'm not sure, but we'll get through it together, man. And if it's something that you might have to get it removed fully, hey, so be it. You know why? But today's technology, you can push through it, man. Well, 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 look who it is. You isn't actually you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. The birthday boy. Wait a second. What? Say, say cheese. Are you going to go snitch? Cheese. No, say cheese. cheese. All right. There we go. That's, that's the BMU 4 picture. Okay. Ah, that's what the, the fucking after picture, you fucking bitch. What the bitch. fuck? Yeah, why, you do fucking... I, why do I deserve that? Because you came to my place with ill and fucking tensions. No, I didn't. Trying to did fucking it. snake me. Yes, you did. Don't, no, don't. You're, in, did, in I ever, me. did don't I ever? Did I ever? Don't me now and fucking denying it, Vinny. All right? I am not stupid. You want me to be honest with you? Yeah. Any of our conversations, you know, I never talked to nobody about them. I don't know if I can fucking. You don't fucking, have to believe me. Okay. I don't give know. a fuck. But any conversations we had, I didn't say a single fucking word. So you punching me, you better apologize. I fucking don't. And you <laughs> and you know that I will not. Alright, you're just a stubborn old you, man. You had that you had that coming and and you fucking know that. All you, right, and you're me, lucky that me, I that I only use my fucking fist. Let me uh, get my nose back in order here. Yeah, it looks better now though. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Ah, oh, God, that hurt. Fuck. So. So. What? Have you heard about the bullshit that's been going on? Yeah, I, I fucking did, and I cannot fucking believe it. That's why I went to GG gas station, and then I was, I also wanted to talk to Eugene himself, but I guess he's like on a little vacation or something. No, uh, no, normally Fridays he's never around anyway. Oh. Okay, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I went. I went down to a GG gas station to confront them about it. I talked to Forehead, and I think the other one was Zakid. I'm not fucking 100 percent sure if it if it was Zakid. It was one of those guys. Can you tell me what the they told you, if you don't mind? Yeah, I, I asked them straight fucking up. What the fuck is going Jokes on? Jokes on you, shop because, slink. Um, this is gonna be my I second purchase what I, what soon. T M. I I like to do it this way, Vinny. I, if I if I hear shit like that, I like to go to the source and not hear not, not listen to like third four or six parties you know because you know like infos they get washed washed out down the down the road so i went there asked them up and they said <laughs> yeah they cannot really talk about that i need you should talk to marty because Fire marty nice, was baby. Um, like there for the whole time they were just around for the for the end mm -hmm. and um, if i want to know something i should talk to i should talk to marty so let me tell you from the beginning what happened Right. Eugene was being Eugene and we yeah. as far as told GG he was an idiot he was being a dumb fuck going right. around with random people one day was with the clowns one day was with Cheddar one day's the Littlemans and they like to poke at games I mean well, you cannot fault Eugene for doing that right I no, mean, early because in the days yeah he, Eugene and we don't mind that we don't care but it don't turn it into a gang issue and we made it known so one day, yeah, Eugene works, was though. sitting, sitting in a car with the clowns. And they picked okay. up Turk from GG. And right. they kidnapped Turk. And you know the clowns, they're crazy as fuck. They're lunatics. They don't give two shits. Yeah, yeah. They uh, pick up they Turk. They there. kidnapped him. And because Eugene was in the car... For some odd reason, GG decided to claim it as a CG issue. When GG <laughs> came to us, we said we want nothing to do with it and do what you have to do with Eugene. We gave them our blessing and they said fine. Okay. So I guess they went back and forth to the point of GG attempting to take Eugene's key from him with the bench. Hey, what? Yeah, they they attempted it the first time by calling Pigeon up and asking Pigeon for 15 Diamondbacks. Who in their fucking right mind uses Diamondbacks? They are the shittiest guns and they I mean, cost would, the same as a Browning. I would rather 
order 15 fucking pebbles. Exactly. So it was a little fishy, but Pigeon went ahead and took care of the order. As Pigeon leaves the, the container, he gets shot without a word being <laughs> said or nothing. Really? He found it very oh. suspicious. He got in his vehicle. He survived the gunshot, went to the hospital, got patched up, and went back to his day. Explain to me why, Rudy. This is where it goes south. Explain to me why 10 minutes later they call up after he drops the order and says they say again, yo, those things went off the shelf fast as fuck. We need another 15 Diamondbacks. Well, now an eyebrows. <laughs> now, R R Rudy, we all know you don't do that so fast. So another no, 10, it's... like I said, 10 minutes goes by. They call up again. So now That's Pigeon... That's AC, ACDC comes into place. You know? Exactly. So now Pigeon <laughs> is on the ropes about this, and he's like, this is very odd. I got shot at. I dropped the order. They paid for it. Now they're calling for additional 15, not even 10 minutes later, after I just got shot at. So we set up a, a, we set up a sting operation. We all moved in at the same time when Pigeon went up to the container, and bang, nobody shows up. Because obviously they were around watching. All right. All right. That was that. What does GG do next? They kidnap Pigeon and force him to tweet out Eugene's location of the bench. You're not you're not bull I'm shitting me, right? I I I swear on my ball sack I will give you all the money in the world that I have in my bank. I will empty my bank accounts if I'm lying. I will go as far as I swear on the man himself, Nico. Okay? Right, that, that, that means something to you. I, yes. I, I do know that. So, they force Pigeon to tweet out the location of Eugene's bench. For some odd reason, hell, the cops bite on it, bring it to DOJ, DOJ signs off on it, and they raid Eugene's bench with a dead cord. What? Yes. Now, it gets even over, better. Over a fucking tweet? Over a tweet. This is, a, is where we stand ever. with the cops and DOJ, okay? So, as they are raiding the bench, GG is approximately 50 meters away from the action going down, and the cops do not even tell them to leave. Oh, really? I, I'm sorry, not 50, 50 feet, not meters. Meters is a little further. So, Fi basically, right, right in fucking front of you. Right in front of them, they're sitting there, and you know when cops conduct a raid, everybody has to leave the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's yeah, around course. it. Nobody's allowed. They are literally that's, just sitting there, and they suspicious. didn't say a fucking word. Okay? That's awkward. The following day, yesterday morning at these hours, a little earlier, Forehead and Future are conducting constant tweets laughing making jokes comments haha ha, we got this shit raided and taking pictures in front of eugene's bench again with the container Jesus laughing about it Christ. like they did something good no they did not something fucking good so with that you know obviously the field i am in i went ahead and held a sit down with all the head honchos of the benches all right even their main supplier and we Speedy. all agreed upon yes and we all agreed upon two week complete shutdown of all stuff from benches including lock picks advanced uh, lock picks thermite grapple guns everything do you really think that will uh, play out we will know it would be very obvious the minute we find out if something doesn't play out because obviously we could see where there's stock right there's multiple stores there's multiple angles it's very it'll be very obvious i'm walking around with a nine percent pistol that's what i'm walking around with because I'm, I'm keeping up my end of the deal i'm just saying Vinny, and this is i i think you know this as much as i do but speedy loves money and he does but let's just say there were very high ranking people in this meeting that are in this city that would probably think elsewise of Speedy if he does it. See, that is, that is, this is the problem now, Vinny, that I, that I, that I fucking have, all right? And I, and I will explain to you my um, side of it. Yep. Nowadays, in this town, 
who the fuck cares? Exactly. Because three days down the fucking road, maybe, maybe, maybe four. I, I will be generous, make it a fucking week. They will have like the whole fucking city again, robbing banks with, with them, them together, doing fucking heists or, or whatsoever. Because nobody gives a shit because so the, there's no consequences. Exactly. So this is the deal, Rudy. There is no more fear in the city, nor do people think they have to pay for their consequences and their actions they make. So if Speedy holds his end up of the deal, this will show the whole city what happens when somebody snitches out an illegal gun bench and the whole city goes dry. And that I is my like, main I do goal. Like, like the, I do like the idea behind it, but that is also, it, it only works out if, if everyone like keeps to it. Well, and I, we had the meeting with all the head people that deal with this and they all agreed upon that it was fucked up what would happen, but the only factor that is here that was it will slot will be a fucking slime snake will be speedy if he doesn't follow through with this because as far as reed reed of all people and psychota are also in on this good i mean listen reed reed is a fucking idiot but he's also fucking smart i i think i think he will after this happened and everyone could see those fucking containers. This is also the info that I that I got that they had pictures how the container looks and what whatever. Yeah. This this opens in a, a whole other can of fucking fu fucking worms. Exactly. We will have a hundred fifty Dora the fucking plora out there running from con container to container and um, looking looking fucking shit up. Plus the fucking cops also know now what the fucking. Look that is the first container that was caught. Now the cops yeah. know that illegal gun benches are in containers, which puts everybody at risk. And that's why it's too hot right now, and that's why we decided to do this. Is uh, Benji on it or in it? I'm going to talk to Seaside right after this, because I never see Benji, so I have to go to JJ. Because I don't think they're on the best of terms with you, with you guys. I know. Here. I know. Trust me when I tell you, I know. But this is this is a totally different area of fuckery. All right, then I want to ask you something something else. Mm -hmm. Do you still associate with with them, um, me and um, Miguel? I have no choice but to associate with him because he lives at the cubby. But I did tell yes, him to his face choice. that he was a fucking rat and what he did was wrong. Because I think that he went totally against street code for what he did. I not told only him, against not not only against street code, Vinny. He he went against every any like everything and anything we always fucking believe in. Abdul, I know I didn't. That's that's the point of called role play, play, my friend. And he goes out there and hands someone that's fucking the point, over my friend. It's after his fucking RP, big you ass talks lie. about rats and about honor and respect. Pff, fuck you, right? Mm -hmm. He's a fucking bitch. Give me uh, one second. And this is why. You are labeled in my chat. And if, oh, you and if can't you ask see it here. Me, but this he, is why he, you are he should a suspicious be like placed viewer. against the fucking ball and sh shooting the fucking head. Let's see. Let's pull up. Oh wow! Wait, hold on. Look, chat. Crazy, huh? You can't lie in role play. Look, suspicious user monitoring. Pretty crazy, huh? So, uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. I talked my piece to him. I told him he was 100% wrong for what he did. Uh, it goes against everything. And I do not agree with it at all. But that's out of my hands. I can't do anything about it. Obviously, he's still within the family. And, you know, th that goes to the higher ups. I will, I will let you, I will let you know here right now face to face to fucking face all right i do not forget that and one day and i and i told and i told him told him him that also for what he did to me what he wants to do to mm -hmm. my to my to my daughter it doesn't need to be today or tomorrow or next week or maybe in two or, or fucking four weeks no mm -hmm. but but one day i will i will see him on the fucking street somewhere and then i will get my hands and that, I can promise you, Vinny, that that will happen. Because I'm a, I'm a patient. And Rudy, I'm a patient do man. what you have to do, Rudy, because I already think he has, he knows a lot's coming to him. 
way. All right, so, well, GG, I, fucking shit. It's, 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 I, I'm telling you right where now. Is this, where's this city going? Going fucking to? Rudy, this, this city this, is this complete door is shambles, wide open Rudy. Now. It's disgusting. This, the fucking door is wide open now for every other fucking group in town to snitch on whatever the fuck they want to because apparently it's fucking fine fine to do so. It's fine. And they try to compare... The reason why they said they did is they're trying to compare Eugene snitching on a race to comparing what? it to snitching on a gun bench. That was their that was their comparison they try to make. Snitching on a fucking race? Yeah. First off, fuck races. Exactly. Okay. I don't. I don't give a fucking crap about about that. This is this is two completely fucking different worlds. Yep. But this is their logic behind it. And you had to see how pressed GG was yesterday. Turk called me up in shambles. He sounded depressed as fuck. Marty called me up in a panic. <laughs> and they and they and, and what did they do? Their own supplier cut him off. And you know what they did after the whole thing? They go and grab fucking Pigeon once again at his warehouse. They snatch <laughs> him up and they shoot him. Why are they grabbing Pigeon and the fucking Spady? This is the mentality of the Gulag gang, Rudy. So all, they have, all the fucking members, members they have, like... They all they share question? one they question brain for one second cell. what their body's doing? Oh, I guess because not. I, I can fucking tell you, if, if I would have done that, right? If, if I would have done a tweet like like fucking that my boys and girls they would drag me on my fucking cut out in the in the fucking mud and give mm -hmm. me a bullet where, where is where is fucking ming um staying in this because ming, ming he's, julian he's, they all laugh about it i told what? you rudy they share one brain cell rudy that's all they have they literally share one brain cell ming is as old Old fucking school as we are. How how can he stand behind this fucking shit? You got me, brother. You got me. I... There's always an excuse with them, Rudy. So all I'm telling you is the heads up. Uh, be careful who you do business with. All right. All right, brother. And happy birthday. You have a great Thank fucking you. day. I, I deserve would. that punch. Okay. Yes, and... You just enjoy your day today. I don't want to hear nothing. Go eat a bunch of fucking. Uh... I will have. I will have steak later. Steak, yes. Yes. Two big ass steaks with grilled green asparagus, fingerling potatoes. Oh, your piss like is gonna smell for the next twenty four hours after that with the asparagus. Fuck that. Not my fucking problem. Yeah, mm. I don't mind either. I love asparagus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, grilled asparagus, black yes, pepper, sir. sea Some salt. salt. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sea salt is the key. <sighs> later, bitch. Later, bitch. <laughs> Chat, you want to talk about Brussels sprouts? You got to make them the way the wife makes them. Yeah, yo. Where you at? Uh, we can meet you whenever. Uh, I'll meet you at the, the block by Bay City. At your compound over there. Fly Vista? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll see you there. All right, bye. Yo, loud.